Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where we can go on a journey together to live our highest, truest, and most fulfilled version of ourselves. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will know every time I post a video. Thank you so much for your support. This video is about Heidelin Diaz from the Philippines who won the gold medal at the 2021 Tokyo Summer Olympics for the 55 kilogram women weightlifting category. I cannot help but to make a video to celebrate not only her monumental win and the pride that she's bringing to the Philippines and to the Filipino people since it's first Olympic gold after nearly 100 years of trying. But this video, more importantly, her inspiring story of sacrifice, perseverance, and pursuing her dreams of what you love despite the challenges and lack of resources and support. Her story is no doubt inspiring and needs to be told. This is why I'm making this video. Heidelin Diaz is from Mindanao, on the southern island of the Philippines, born to a family of six. In high school, she would go with her father in his tricycle to help sell vegetables and fish on the street and at the market. Many nights, all her family will eat were rice mixed with soy sauce. She said, we were poor, very poor. She was introduced to weightlifting by her cousin Hidalgo. Never entered her mind that she will win in the Olympics and will become a national icon in her country. She started lifting weights made from plastic pipes and homemade concrete weights cast in old tin cans. At 11 years old, she was given a barbell to train after a local weightlifting competition. She practiced so hard that she broke the bar from using it too much. But kind people saw her dedication and donated bars for her to practice. She then became a frequent fixture at every weightlifting competitions. Passion became a vocation and found the right person to coach her and guide her. It's Ramon Solis, a famous Filipino weightlifter in the Philippines. At 17 years old, she had her first glimpse as an Olympian at Beijing 2008 Summer Olympics. She was 11th of the 12 weightlifters, but people saw her promise and her abilities. In 2012 Olympics, she didn't finish. It was an unsuccessful run for her. That's when she changed her decision to move from 58 kilograms to 55 kilograms. This was a turning point in her career. Within the next four years, she started winning medals and wins mounted up. In 2015, she received gold at the Asian Championship in Thailand and bronze in Houston, Texas. These wins guaranteed her a spot at the Rio Summer Olympics where she won the silver. A huge win since she was battling the best of the best Chinese Olympians on her category. Silver, the first medal by a woman from the Philippines Olympic history. She became a household name after Rio. Her story of triumph in the face of adversity and financial struggle stood out in a country where a lot of people are struggling to make ends meet some living below poverty line. In an interview, she said, challenges are just part of life. Time will come when you just want to give up, but you need to fight for your dreams. In another interview, she said, and I quote, I don't consider myself as one of the popular athletes in the Philippines. I'm just thankful to God that he gave me to be a role model for the youth to believe in the fact that Ate, a Tagalog term meaning older sister, Heidelin is a fighter, fighting for her dreams. Maybe God brought me here to inspire the youth to engage in sports and teach them the value of sports. In sports, it's not always miracles. 
almost all the time, it's hard work. In her humble way, she said that she's grateful and thankful with what weightlifting allowed her to, to do to help her family financially put up a gym for aspiring weightlifters and help kids who grew up without a home. She also serves the Philippine Air Force. Congratulations, Idelene, for winning the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics. As a Phil American, I am so proud of you. This channel is all about highlighting brave men and women who dare to dream, who persevere to pursue what they love and to be an inspiration to a lot of people and deserving of our praise and honor. Congratulations again. Thank you all for watching and be kind, be loving, and be inspired. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.